They come from all over the planet for the sport's most prestigious international event, the World Series of Bowling. 240 pros from 21 countries are here in Las Vegas. Among them, the PBA's best. All competing for the multiple PBA titles that are up for grabs. It's professional bowling's ultimate test full of triumphs. And disappointments. And it's coming at you next on ESPN. Welcome to South Point. World Series of Bowling rolls on. Today it's the World Bowling Tour Finals. Presented by the PBA, let's meet our finalists. The number three seed is a four-time PBA Tour Titleist and four-time member of Team USA. He finished third in the 2012-13 World Bowling Tour Point List. From Fort Worth, Texas, Mike Fagan. The number two seed is the winner of three World Bowling Tour titles. And he earned the winner of the championships in 21 countries, a two-time PBA Player of the Year. From Heartland, Michigan, by way of Finland, Mika Koivuniemi. The number one seed is a two-time World 10-Pin Bowling Association PBA International Tour Titleist. The 2012-13 World Bowling Tour points leader and five-time member of Team USA from Montgomery, Illinois, Sean Rash. And now the World Bowling Tour Women's Tour finalist. The number three C, a four-time member of Team USA, the winner of the 2011 USBC Queens and two-time PBA regional champion from Laguna Hills, California, Missy Parkin. The number two seed is the winner of 16 professional titles, five majors including the 2013 Women's US Open. A nine-time member of Team USA from Cheek to Waga, New York, Liz Johnson. The number one seed is the winner of nine professional titles, including five women's majors in the 2010 PBA Tournament of Champions. A nine-time member of Team USA from Union, New Jersey, Kelly Kulik. And hello again, everyone. Mike Jakubowski, Lane Side. Two years ago, the Professional Bowlers Association and the WTBA teamed up to create the World Bowling Tour, creating the opportunity for these World Bowling Tour women's and men's finals. Missy Parkin, Kelly Kulik, and Liz Johnson have traveled the world in search of that title. Expert analysis on today's telecast comes from Hall of Famer Randy Peterson. Randy, equal opportunity exists for the men on the World Bowling Tour. Yeah, and nobody's logged more miles and put more miles on their frequent flyer accounts than these three gentlemen. Mike Fagan won in Paris in 2012. Sean Rash, his last win came in Thailand just a couple of months ago. And Mika Koivuniemi, he's got three wins this season, all wins coming on foreign soil. And if Mika can make the championship match today, will be the third time in a row he's competed for the WBT men's title. The third member of our broadcast team, Kimberly Pressler, stands by with Missy Parkin. Thanks, guys. Missy, you are the defending champion of this event, but in order to make it to the final round, you're going to have to go through a U.S. Open winner. How do you propose to do that? Well, I'm just going to, as cliche as it sounds, take it one shot at a time and throw as many good shots as possible and try to defend my title. Good luck to you today. Thank you. All right, take a look at our oil pattern. 38 feet in length, the WTBA Atlanta. Notice the blue dye in the oil. Now that invisible demon, now visible to our viewers. We will be following the ball track and the oil movement throughout the telecast today. It's exciting for the first time in PBA and WTBA history. The blue oil will show where the oil pattern actually is. Liz Johnson, first shot in our opening match at a Cheek Duwag in New York. Opening shot. A little high, 
6'10". Just a little bit high, but no harm done, no split, just leaving the 6'10". Liz Johnson is probably the best player at going with the grain of the wood, nice and straight. That's her A game. Oh my, that is uncharacteristic. Well, and that's something you uh, you won't see very often from her. Most of your straight players are all very good spare shooters. We have a rematch here today as Liz Johnson went up against Missy Parkin in last year's WBT Women's Championship match. Two early splits in the first and fourth frames cost Liz dearly. In the end, she couldn't catch up with Parkin, who went on a tear in the last half of the match, putting together a five-bagger to win 238 to 190. Missy Parkin, 31, out of Laguna Hills, California, decided to make the commitment to bowl the World Bowling Tour and has taken advantage of the two-year rolling ranking point system. A 7-10 split becomes a 10-pin. Well, pretty nice break here. 7-10 standing. Didn't look like the 7 got hit hard enough to fall, but it did. Missy picks up the spare. And here is that two-year rolling points list. Kulik Johnson Parkin on today's show, accumulating the most points, just missing out. Deandra Asbady and Jazz Real Tan. So America represented as well as Singapore in the top five over the two years of the rolling point system. Kelly in the corner for Parkin. Back over to Liz Johnson. 14 women's professional titles, including five majors. Liz, after the open frame, trips the four. There you go, back on it. Up the grain, that's what she does best. Straight up first arrow, nice trip four there. I bowled an event in Las Vegas a few months ago with Pete Weber, Liz Johnson, and Leanne Holzenberg, and Liz piped it straight up first arrow and beat all of us by a lot. Four pin stands for Liz. Talked to Liz about her physical game, and she said, it, for me it's about timing, push away and footwork and I have to avoid getting fast. <laughs> Missy Parkin, a four-time member of Team USA, with her husband, Drew, owner of Parkins OC Bowling Supply in Tustin, California. Opportunity to double and increase the lead here. Third frame of our semifinal. Skating wide for the super washout. Bad shot, wide right, misses the head pin, pays for it. The one, two, four, six, ten.
going to try to get the bowling ball over to the left side of the head pin and throw it into the 610. The ball will take out the two and the four. The super washout, clean frame, maintaining a 12-pin lead for Missy Parkin. Drew Parkin, husband to the left, good friend Scott Norton to the right. Well, that's the way you're supposed to make it. High back swing, wrist broken back, deep knee bend, and then that elongated follow through, touching the back of her shoulder. Liz Johnson trails by 12 here, fourth frame, and tripping the four. Liz needs to make an adjustment. All three shots, or excuse me, the last three shots, all coming in a pinch high. She trips two four pins, leaves a four pin on the left lane. This is back-to-back -back trip fours on this right lane for Liz. Just a border two left with her feet will help that ball hold pocket. Liz finished second last year to Missy Parkin in last year's WBT Women's Final. Two five. Missed it just a hair at the bottom. Liz Johnson, major championship winner. Comes in just a bit light, leaving the choppable two five. Missy going with the Enigma. Middle of the road in terms of hook potential in her arsenal today. By Missy's own admission, she hasn't had a good year and she changed her layout. She said she was slumping. She's practiced a lot and has worked with uh, Bugsy Kelly, including a visit to Hopkinsville. Entering 10. Well, much better shot than the last time on the right lane. A spare here, she'll remain clean through five. Watch the six pin, second pin on the right, around the 10. Spare for Parkin and a 12 pin lead. In the semifinal match of the World Bowling Tour Women's Final, Kelly Kulik awaits the winner in the title match. Five frames remaining. Parkin, the first female to join the Professional Bowlers Association way back in 2004, has the advantage. Final five frames of our semifinal. That's a flat 10. Missy's mom and dad looking on, parents supporting, Frank and Pat Bellender. Pin. 11 pin lead for Missy Parkin. Kelly Kulik awaits in the title match. 
in the World Bowling Tour Women's Final. Who will prevail? Will Missy Parkin hold the lead? Find out when we return to South Point. Welcome back to Las Vegas World Series of Bowling. Five rolls on with the World Bowling Tour Women's Finals. Missy Parkin with an 11-pin lead. And the difference, the open frame by Liz Johnson in the first. Here's Liz. Liz is a world traveler. She goes for stretches of months at a time without being home. And every opportunity she has to bowl, she takes it. That's right, it pushed. Nice shot there for this year's yeah. Women's U.S. Open champion. Who can forget yeah, Liz Johnson's major victory and then the battle of the sexes win against Wes Malott. It's the second time she's beaten him on television. doesn't get the seven. She went with a ball change on that left lane and that ball just came in just a bit light, not carrying the shaker seven. Liz still in search of that first elusive double. Still only trailing by 11 pins. Missy Parkin owns two PBA regional titles, competing in the regular regional tour. Plus 11, seventh frame. And a ring 10 that time. Pretty good shot here, but same result on this right lane. Carbon copy of the last shot she threw on the right lane. Three 10 pins in a row. down that's all you got to do spare clean frame for missy parkin and a 10 pin lead missy competed this year at the vienna open had a very unique opportunity she got to travel to turkey and greece and participate in clinics randy that were specifically geared to women and the attendance was fantastic in turkey and greece an amazing opportunity afforded by traveling on the world bowling tour 10 pin lead final three frames kelly kulik awaits in the final. Come on, carry! The pins agree. Well, the good news for Liz Johnson, she's only trailing by 10. The bad news, Missy Parkins lined up and hitting the pocket just about every shot. Liz needs to figure it out. It's getting late. Three frames left in this match. Johnson trailing by 10. Push a little too much. Fast eight. She has no swing and no hold. And uh, when you're a straight player and you have no hold, you're usually in trouble. Johnson on the spare, running out of frames. Here's what's in Liz, Liz's bag. Marvel S on the right lane, Defiant Soul on the left. Oh, she's gone back to a Marvel S on the left lane.
time running out for Liz Johnson. Foundation frame. She trails by 12. That's the way to fill the foundation strain. Mark it with an X. Well, she has a possible 206 now. Problem is Missy Parkin can double in the ninth and then a three bagger in the tenth and shut out Liz Johnson. <laughs> Last two shots on this right lane for Parkin. Ring 10, ring 10. Coming up uh, later on today's show, our Men's World Bowling Tour Finals featuring Mike Fagan, Mika Koivuniemi, and top seed Sean Rash. Missy Parkins Foundation frame. And the 10 pin stands. Well, at least she doesn't have to finish on that lane. With the exception of the super washout in the third frame, she's been all over the pocket, and because of that awesome spare conversion in the third, she's remained clean, and thus the reason why she still maintains the lead that she has. Bear for Parkin. Double and nine, she shuts out Liz Johnson. Anything else, Johnson still has a chance to win the match. She took a re-rack. In the ninth frame on the right lane, now she's taking another re-rack on the left lane. The players only get two re-racks per game. Missy Parkin, defending champion of this event. She qualified as the number one seed in last year's World Bowling Tour Women's Final. Defeating Liz. Trying to do the same here to get to Kelly Kulik this time around. Double and nine to advance. shot Drew Parkin good shot here the pins cooperate no 10 pin she needs one more just like it in nine and she'll move on to face Kelly Kulik and this would be the first double for either player a strike here plus nine leaves no chance for Johnson 10th frame Liz is alive. Liz Johnson still has life, and as a player, that's all you want is an opportunity. Six, ten pins in this game for Parkin. Liz Johnson on the right lane has a couple of strikes, but they're all trip four pins. Remember the last shot for Liz on the right lane? She went high. Now she needs to muster up two strikes here in the 10th to advance. Difference in the match right now is the 6-10 whiff in the first frame for Liz Johnson. Chance to make up for it. Drilled it straight back. One more just like it, and she will take on Kelly Kulik. And how many times have we seen this, MJ? You let a player hang around, and it comes back to bite you.
Gets the job done. Rinse and repeat. Johnson must strike here to advance to the championship against Kulik. Left all the way. Wait a minute. Wow. Bad shot for Johnson. Parkin advances. Missy Parkin will take on Kelly Kulik for the World Bowling Tour women's title. Trying to go for back-to-back -back titles. So Missy will try to go back-to-back -back against Kelly Kulik. Coming up next in the World Bowling Tour, women's finals from the World Series of Bowling.